Welcome back to the Hank Strange Situation, Lifestyles of the Locked and Loaded. Make sure to check out HankStrange.com. You can sign up for our email list and find ways to follow and support our efforts. You know what? Let, listen, if you guys are okay with this, let's do this, right? Because the people in the chat, we didn't actually get their questions out there or their comments and stuff like that. So let's try to... Do you want, do you want to do that, Rhonda, Jafari? Like, go to the... Go to the folks, answer questions here. That's fine. Yeah. I can't even see the chat, so y'all yeah. can ask Google me. Um, go somewhere to yeah, I sent, you, I sent you that link. If you open it up, you'll see we're live right now, and there's been tons of chats going by here. I'm live too, though. I'm live on my yeah, phone. Well, okay, so. so, you know, you're multitasking. This is what... I'm just saying, I need to... Yeah, if you, if, you have, if you have stuff from your people, Jafari, that you want to get in, we'll do that. Rhonda, if you have it, but we can go to the folks out there and have them ask questions now. And I'll just say to everyone out there, if you've got questions, let's hit it now. This is Jafari Jones from Black Lives Matter 757, different from uh, from the national group Black Lives Matter. So if you guys have questions or comments or whatever, uh, I'm just going to say try to keep it respectful here. Okay, so um, I think John Crump is in the chat having a, a fight with someone. So I see. I'm here now so you have i, I'm, yeah. I'm, I just got in here it's, uh, it's black sword <laughs> yeah uh black sword shinobi says what about antifa hijacked blm movement so what would you say what would you say to that jafari do you feel that's a factual statement what's your experience in that vein man everybody hijacking no movement man we do what we do like as far as how they move like i mean they out here fighting too i ain't gonna say nothing to or against them because like everything is different they out here fighting against the governor that's what i'm like and i'm all for any group just fighting against tyranny i'm all for any group just fighting mm -hmm. against the status quo so i mean i mean are they you gotta, with like, are you I, down are you cool with antifa then Listen, you can tell us. I, 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 mean, I, can, I, I go off personal experiences, and, and all, in all honesty, mm -hmm. in this interview, I honestly don't want to get at any light. In, in all okay. honesty, like I, I'd rather just, mm -hmm. you know, I think you know some of them are out here doing what you know what they feel is right. Um, you know what I'm saying we choose our allies, and you know, you know, in our area where we are, you know, like I say, I, I don't, I just choose not to speak on that. Like it's, you know, it's different. So okay, you know, so we have to read between the lines on that one, Rhonda. I don't know. I'm gonna let you interpret that. Uh, you're you're gonna be the you're gonna be the uh, the judge here of that. Of, of be the, yeah. Be the be translator. The, yeah, you can be the uh, judge of that. Uh. Well, so okay, so this is my mm -hmm. guess. I mm -hmm. don't know. I can't speak for Jafari, but I will say when I went out there to Virginia and I did this interview with him. And I asked him how was he able to bring out such a diverse crowd. It was about 50% uh, black and 50% white. And you had a lot of Boogaloo boys out there, right? Mm -hmm. So the mainstream media narrative that uh, Boogaloo boys are um, racist, are uh, white supremacist, um, want to start the Civil War, all these things, but yet you have Jafar who's like, yeah, I just met this guy, Mike Dunn, and he's super nice, and he's out here fighting for his friend Duncan Limp, and we have the same mission. We're both mm -hmm. out here about 2A rights and things like that. And so I, I assume, I don't know his So opinion, is Mike right? Dunn, is Mike Dunn a, a boogaloo boy? Because John Crump gave us five yeah. bucks. He says, Mike Dunn being called a white supremacist by USA Today, question mark. So I guess he wants to know what you think about Mike Dundee. I didn't even know that. Yeah. But but that's my point, right? Mm -hmm. So Jafari is doing this Black Lives Matter 757 and he's meeting all these people and these people are not necessarily turning out to be what the media says everybody is, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. So you meet a boogaloo boy and it's like, he's cool, he support our movement. You meet people that's like, nah, we ain't really down with the national, what they're doing, you know, and maybe he's just trying to leave room to not put people in a box. Okay. That's how I'm taking it based on my conversation. All right, Jafari. Right. I mean, I, I, what she's saying is true. Like I said, I don't, I, I'm never going to put anybody in a box. Like I said, I would rather have a direct interaction mm -hmm. before I assume anything. Like, I'm not the type of person that's going to read something and be like, oh, well, I, since I read it, like I said, you know, it must be true. You know, say with a name like Smuckers, it has to be good type situation. It's like, no, like if I have a conversation with you mm -hmm. or, you know, what I'm saying? like I said, even still a conversation is one thing, but with me, 
I'm a man before I'm anything, so I'm gonna hold you to your word. You know what I'm saying? If you come to me the man and we have a conversation about some stuff and you, you know, lead your way off or you, you know, deceive me in some way, shape, or form and your motives, um, you know, based off whatever you got. That's that's something you gotta deal with as a man. And if we come to it, we're gonna have to deal with, you know, however men deal with something. But at the end of the day, I would like to be able to take somebody for face value mm -hmm. and you know, take it from there, you know, say so a direct interaction. <clears throat> the whole story with us if I can be brief with this, the whole story of how we even met Mike Dunn in the first place was there was a 4th of July 2A rally in Richmond, Virginia. Mm -hmm. We came there, BLM 757 with some of our allies, Task Force 10, just to see um, what it was about. Like I said, we stand up for the rights. We were coming out there strictly for the Second Amendment. Literally, as we're coming around the corner to go to, like, mind you, it's 100 some degrees outside. People are, we're in full kit in the whole nine yards coming out there because the Second Amendment rally, they do a little different here in Virginia. So we come around the corner. I don't know who Mike Dunn is. I don't know what a boogaloo boy is. All I know is this kid is coming up to me with his Hawaiian shirt saying, hey, them people over there talking some racist nonsense, we ain't with it. And so we was like, oh, well, them people over there? It was like, yeah. So we was like, okay, let's go see what they're talking about. Apparently they were uh, propertarians. I don't know if you know, are they familiar with the propertarians, Presbyterians, Sumitarians? Uh, no. Uh, is, is, is Mike Dunn white or black? Mike Dunn is very white. Okay. So um, so we are. Uh, He's very we, white. Okay, get it. Copy. So Copy. I'm just regular white. Uh, so we come to a conclusion where we're gonna go over and see what they were talking about mm -hmm. because they had a conversation I guess apparently for we went over there. So we went over there. I stood up on this uh this thing just to kind of hear what they were saying more. It's a megaphone type of situation. Mm -hmm. So, um, and so I, I I do something to to the fact of expressing that we're here for the Second Amendment. Nothing more. Nothing less. Anything outside of that is bull. You can have different political views, but right now, out here today, what we're here for today is the Second Amendment. So if you're over here speaking Nazi or whatever type of deal, we're not here for that. So they, um, let's say we, we had that whole thing, went up to them, and then Mike Dunn and his Boogaloo boys came from behind us chanting, white supremacy sucks, white supremacy sucks, white supremacy sucks. And from them, they stood next to us in line um, at different protests protecting individuals and like I said, this is all personal experience. Mm -hmm. And in this activist world, like I said, this is not a TV show. So when you come out here with a gun, facing off with the cops, there are real consequences at stake. Mm -hmm. This is not just a, a, a stage thing where we could come out and, oh, we know what's going on and this is, you know, we're just going to go home. You could die. You could go to jail. Mm -hmm. You could, uh, you know, you could have, you could be uh, doxxed. You mm -hmm. could be followed. Yeah, home. it could There's go sideways real fast. A lot of different ways and real fast. Yeah. So you come out here and stand that you're standing in arms with us with your gun, with your homies or whatever, mm -hmm. and that's how everything is with that. Mm -hmm. And a lot of people try to spin it off as, oh, well now y'all laying in bed with them. This is all y'all care about. No, that was what was happening for like a week because you know it was a Second Amendment rally. It wasn't like a, oh, this is where the whole focus and shift of the last four years of your work has went because that was never in anywhere near the case. Mm -hmm. So taking him for face value off of interactions. Off of everything like that, he doesn't want to be misunderstood. We're misunderstood. So what would it look like for us to be like, hey, um, we know we get misunderstood. Uh, here's another misunderstood individual. Let's just shut him out because people say bad stuff about him, but they can't tell us. So what has he done, racist? So what has he done to to be against the movement? What is, what what has he? What give us the the incident? And then come to find out, this kid is 19. That's why I say kid. He's mm -hmm. he's literally 19 years old. Mm -hmm. So. Say you're, it's a 19-year-old who's still finding his way. Mm -hmm. He may say some stuff that he does mean or doesn't mean. He's 19. Mm -hmm. He's out here trying to fight for liberation. He's trying to find his way. He's doing his thing. He's doing what he feels right. And there's nothing we've seen him do. And they're out here fighting against pedophiles. Mm -hmm. Who can agree to fight against pedophiles is a terrible thing. Um, they, I don't know. I, I don't know. I'll let, let that person stand up so we could throw him in that wood chipper that you're talking about. <laughs> and that's his favorite saying. Like I said, I, I've hung up with him a few times uh -huh. and I really hang out because his favorite saying is, you know, saying wood chipper go, brr, you know what I'm saying, and that's that's what he says. That's, oh that's his thing. So, like, so, so is it true that you're like a boog boy now? Are you a boog boy also? You're a boogaloo? No. Hold on. Yeah, I'm a BLM seven five seven. Okay, that's, that's it. it. That's it, right? That's okay. That's uh, it. Are you okay? So, so it's not. There's no affiliations. You just you met him. You dealt with him. Based on your interactions, he was cool. Do you guys still communicate in any way? Yeah. I mean, right. I'm saying it's, 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 it's to the point now, and I'll put this out there to the world. Mm -hmm. And you know, people can feel one way or another about it. Mm -hmm. But like I said, again, with me, 
I, I'm coming to you, anybody as a man first before anything, mm-hmm. and he hasn't done anything personally to me. Mm-hmm. I'm not going to say I'm denouncing him unless he does something detrimental where I feel mm-hmm. as if that was necessary to say. And he hasn't done anything to me, and from what he's shown us, he's a good people. So, like I say, I'm, I'm not that type of person to be like, oh, everybody tells me I need to feel this way about them, feel that way. Because people have done that to me. Mm-hmm. Rather be true or not true, people put things in somebody's ear, and they've taken it for a, just you know face value or false value, and, and made. That's the pre- world today that we live in, man. That happens to everyone. And when you get a so, when you get a pro- public profile like you have, and you start doing all these things, it's gonna happen, you know. Right. Yeah. And so it's only accepted, man. Only thing I can do is, you know, I can I can look back on on Malcolm and Martin and see the people who perceived me, the ancestors, like if they went through it, who am I? I'm no better than them to not have to go through it as well. And it's all welcome. If you're not willing to take that on, if you're not willing to take on the full armor and skin of your ancestors, you really should not be in this. Like, and that's just all honesty because, like, this shit is for serious. This shit is for real. It's like, if you don't want to be a politician, don't sign up to be on the ballot. But with this right here, as far as what we're fighting for, like, don't just... And, and, and I, I honestly don't feel like emotionally somebody could... This is not something you can fake mm-hmm. because what actually goes into this. It's, it's like, you know what I'm saying? Say you're you're a security guard and somebody puts you in a, in a super rough nightclub. If you can't fight, it's gonna be known <laughs> before you know anything happens. So, mm-hmm. in, in this in this situation, and this is not if you're not about that life, I can say like say I, I wholeheartedly, please stay home, please stay home and watch it on on Facebook and, and YouTube and and the news and the you know six o'clock and 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 live your life off of uh, headlines because. It, it's, it's, it's a lot more than that. Yeah, it's really real out there. Uh, Rhonda, first of all, are you a boo girl? And second of all, what's your comment on all this? No, I'm just a Rhonda Mary girl. Okay. I only I only speak for myself. <laughs> so I'm not affiliated with any organization, no politicians, no nothing. Um, but... Yeah, I, I I don't have much to say about that. Okay, all right. So negative on the on the boob thing. Make sure to check out HankStrange.com. You can sign up for our email list and find ways to follow and support our efforts.